Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, <clears throat> it's Dallas week. All right, <clears throat> let's talk. I was discussing this uh, with, with my friend Tim on uh, our picks video last night. <clears throat> he picked the Eagles, I picked the Eagles. I did something glorious today. I actually looked up. The injury list before recording this video. What an idea, huh? So, the only name really on Dallas's injury list uh, coming into the week is obviously Andy Dalton. Um, Xavier Woods did not practice uh, yesterday, but it was a non-injury related thing. So, you know, obviously that doesn't really matter. In this, well, in this context at least. So, Philly on the other hand, they're getting some people back. And there's some people that still aren't back yet. So, Rager's practicing, Goddard's practicing. I did read something that Rager is kind of a may or may not play kind of thing. Um, Jason Peters is back. And, and I want to touch on Jason Peters for a second. Um... I think they should move him into right guard. I feel like he needs to play right guard, which is what he played. It's what he was doing all summer. Um, <sighs> Mawada has been fairly impressive, I think, at left tackle. Um, and I'd rather keep him there and keep him developing at that position rather than stick Peters back in there and then, no offense to the man, but when he inevitably gets hurt again, have to throw Mawada back into that. I'd rather just keep Mawada there um, and move Nate Erbig back over to uh, left guard where he, for whatever reason, has played fairly well. Um and like I said, Peters played right guard in, over the summer. So, uh, you know. Uh, let's see. Else on the offensive line. No Lane Johnson still. Whatever. I, I mean, I didn't think he was going to play. Uh, Jack Driscoll still not back yet, which sucks. I was, I was sad when that injury happened. Um, <clears throat> no Miles Sanders again, which will be interesting. Um, still no Alshon Jeffrey. Uh, I'm wondering, I really am wondering, like, not only when are we going to see Jeffrey this year, but what even is his role going to be when he comes in? Because, I mean, he's been out for so goddamn long, and the young guys are playing so, so well. I'm, tr I'm trying to figure out why bother. I, I don't know. I mean, do I think we should use him if he comes back healthy? Yeah, because, I mean, I suppose why wouldn't you? But uh, I don't know. I just, I'm just so impressed with how the young guys are playing um, <clears throat> that I don't even really know what Jeffrey's role would even be in this offense anymore. But anyway, so looking at – I told Tim – last night Dallas's defense is horrendous I mean it is just it's bad remember two years ago where the defense was the strength of that team I don't know what happened but I mean they lost some guys obviously Byron Jones Robert Quinn but for the defense to be this bad man I, I don't even know um and uh you know, Philly's Philly's offense has been I think it's been impressive in their losses. You know, they should have beaten Baltimore and they probably should have or they easily could have beaten Pittsburgh. So and what and Baltimore and Pittsburgh are both really good defenses. Pittsburgh in particular. So my point there is Philly should not have any problems 
against Dallas' defense. Unless they decide to turn into the steel curtain for one game. Which, with our luck, I wouldn't even be surprised. The other angle to consider for Dallas is their offense. Look, I, I know absolutely nothing about the kid Danucci. I know his name. I know he's from JMU. That's it. I, I, you know, I, you guys know I don't keep up with college football whatsoever. Uh, this year, I never saw any highlights from anybody in the draft. So, like, hell, even two is playing this this week. And I've never seen him play before. Not not once. Other than the one, the one pass he threw at the end of the game last week against the... Whoever the hell the Dolphins played. I don't even remember. Jets? Maybe? No, I don't even remember. Um, but that's not important. My point is, I don't watch college football. So... <clears throat> Danucci, I have no idea. He he could be one of those random diamond in the rough kids, and he's going to come out and put up like 450 against our defense. I suppose it's possible. It's unlikely. But again, with our luck, I wouldn't even be surprised. Realistically speaking, rookie quarterback... First NFL start, banged up offensive line, Zeke hasn't been playing very well, and the strength of Philly's defense is still the defensive line. I think the kids, I think the kids in for a rough day. Personally, um, Dallas's offense since Dak went down has not been very good whatsoever. I, I underestimated how bad it was going to be. I've I thought Dalton would – I thought he'd fill in well. Uh, I mean, I didn't expect him to be great. Uh, he's not Dak. Um, but, ah, uh, man, I, I expected Dalton to at least be able to do something. Um, that, that Cardinals game, I was astounded. I was I was absolutely blown away. I thought Dallas would at least put up half a fight. The way I've seen Dallas play, the way their defense has been, and the way their offense has looked under the difference in what it's looked like between Dak and Dalton. And again, this is knowing nothing about Danucci whatsoever. I wouldn't be surprised if Philly hung 35 on this team. Uh, and I'd be surprised if Dallas's offense got out of the teens, personally. Based on how they have played, their offense and their defense, I'm making that prediction. It's it's a divisional rivalry. It's a divisional game. It's the rivalry, Dallas and Philly. Like I said, it's possible Zeke could come out and go back to his form. It's possible Danucci could come out and look like the next Dan Marino. Uh, I don't know. Any of that is possible. But, A, I hope not. And, B, I really kind of doubt it. Um, <clears throat> see, what else to touch on? Uh, actually, I don't even know if there's that much more I need to touch on, to be perfectly honest. Couple, I mean, a couple other random injuries for Philly, most of which aren't going to matter a whole, whole lot. Nate Gary's hurt. Uh, Kevon Wallace is still hurt. I mean, a bunch of stuff that isn't really going to have a huge impact. Um, the offensive line is going to be the big one. I, put Peters on the right side, man. Keep Milad at uh, left tackle and throw Nate Irving at uh, left guard. And, you know, if it doesn't work halfway through the game and Mawada's getting torched all game, then you, maybe you make a switch at halftime. But I, I would start I would start the game like that because I think it's – I think right now is going to feel the most natural. Um, so we'll see. Like I said, I'm calling for Philly beating Dallas 30-something to something team. 
I don't really do game score predictions, but I I I don't see the Dallas offense having a very good day. Um, and their defense is garbage. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, who knows? It, it's Philly Dallas, so it could be close. Um, and that's like I said, NFC East rivalry. Prime example: last week, that Giants that Giants Philly game, that had no business being as close as it was. But like I said, Dallas Giants games, man, they're always heart attacks. Every single one of them that I've ever watched, at least. Um, so you know, we'll see. I, I I'm hoping it'll be good, but not too good because I don't want to see Dallas be successful. Um. I will not be home uh, most of the day Sunday. I am going to come home Sunday evening after dinner so I can watch the game. Uh, we'll be camping just right down the road here in Gettysburg. We go Halloween camping, and uh, I decorate the site, and it's all it's all cool. There will there will be pictures and possibly a video. Um, but uh, I will be home Sunday night. I, I told my parents, I said, hey, Sunday night, because it's right down the street. I'm going to drive home. Drive home so I can shower, get everything ready for the next day at work, and I can watch the Philly game. If it wasn't Philly-Dallas, actually, I'd probably still come home because it's 10 minutes down the street. Um, but, you know, don't uh, I, I won't be around all day Sunday up until the Philly game. So... Just as a heads up, I'm I'm guessing 99% of people don't care, but, you know, I'm throwing it out there anyway. Uh, I'm going to, what time is it? Come on, car. Come on, car. I, I can't leave my camera here because it'll stop. I don't know, I'm probably, I'm probably done here anyway. So, I'm going to get this all wrapped up. 2.43, I got time. And uh, I will see you guys. No, I'll see you guys on Twitter for Sunday night. Go Birds. Fuck Dallas. Peace out.